What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get a whole bunch of space back on your computer and hard drives that you didn't even know were gone. Let's get into it. For those of you guys that are new around here, my name's Josh Haynes, I'm a freelance filmmaker and I love bringing out videos and tutorials helping you guys out. Uh, as you can see, this is not my normal setup. I'm actually on the road. I'm in Chicago right now as I'm filming this video. Uh, I'll be back in Kansas City when this comes live, of course. But this is a problem I encounter specifically when I'm on the road. Because I use a laptop a lot of the time when I'm traveling, I will run out of space very quickly on hard drives, external drives, even the drive on my computer and this little trick is going to help you save a lot of space and get back a lot of space you didn't even know were gone so let's load up davinci resolve and we'll get going so i'm going to show you guys what davinci resolve is saving and storing on your hard drive and it's going to cause a problem later when you start running out of space now if you guys have not seen this video that i'm scrubbing through this is the we light ninja 200 i did a review on it it's a really cool little light if you want to check it out i will link it up here above so the thing we're looking to delete is the cache files now a quick rundown for you guys that don't know what a cache file is basically it's rendered files so when I do a video that's very heavy especially if it's on the Sony system uh, I'm gonna highlight a lot of these and I'm gonna go up here to playback and I'm gonna make sure my render cache is on user then I'm gonna right click on these and I'm gonna go to render cache output and I am going to turn it on and you can see it turns it red. You can see it's changing blue and that means that it's rendered essentially. So the playback would actually be a lot smoother than if it wasn't rendered at all. So what is the problem with this? The problem with this is that DaVinci Resolve likes to store this and hide it. Now you can actually delete just individual videos, uh, their cache files, and you can go up here to playback and then you can go to delete render cache. You can either do all unused or you can select clips so if you had a very long project and it was taking up a lot of space however I'm not really doing that most of the time most of the time I'm just forgetting about it and then months later I'm like oh crap I should clean system out so what we need to do is locate these cache files we're gonna go to the DaVinci Resolve we're gonna go to preferences it's gonna pull up here we're gonna go to media storage that it's on right here and we're gonna see it's under user Josh Haynes and it's under movie we're gonna hit cancel, that's where I needed to see. We're gonna go down here to the little gear. We're gonna click that, and under master settings, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, right here where it says cache files location. Now, this would work for proxies just the same, so if you had a bunch of proxies, you could delete that too. We're just doing the cache because I don't really ever do proxies. We're gonna click browse, it's gonna bring this up. We're gonna remember we were in user Josh Haynes, so it's our in user Josh Haynes. We're gonna to go to movies, cache clip right there and you can see look at all those look at all these rendered files that are out so what we're going to do is we are going to right click on this we're going to do show and finder it's going to bring up a finder window and right here we can see it's all our cache clips if we wanted to we could right click on it and we could see get info and we can see this is almost 15 gigs right here on my computer, on my drive. Now this would work just the same as if you had all of your files going to an external drive. Uh, this is the same method. I have all my saved data, all my cache clips, all my proxies that I would have going to my actual desktop because it's a fast SSD. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this. We're gonna right click on it. We're gonna hit move the trash. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna empty out the trash. Yep, we wanna empty it. It's gonna clear it out. You can see that was almost 8,000 files that it cleared out. Now, 15 gigs may not seem like a lot. However, on my big desktop at home, I got back like over like 300 gigs or something like that. It was a lot. It was a lot of gigs that I had just honestly forgot about. And then my computer was running a little slow. So I did this method, cleaned it out, and it was like a brand new computer. Now, of course, I wouldn't really do this until you're pretty much done with those projects. It's not going to delete the projects itself, but it is going to delete all the rendered time that you've spent on it. So if you're going back to projects, I would not do this method. I would maybe just delete individual ones like I showed you by going to the playback. If you're pretty much done with all these, like I always have a lot of YouTube videos, after a couple months, I'll just go and clean it out and it'll save me so much time. So if you were hurting for space in your computer, I would check this out and you may get a lot of space back on your computer. 
Well, that's it for me today, guys. If you learned something and you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, hit subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you next time in my normal setup in my office. See you next time. Peace.